Hey there, Pierce from Pipe Dream. I'm just responding to a uh, interesting thread in the Pipe Dream community forum uh, where there's a few of you that are interested in learning how to extract the body of text from a Google document and then using that text and feeding it into OpenAI with a prompt and using, and using Pipe Dream to do that. So I'm gonna make a end-to-end -end working example to show you how to do this because it seems like there's some confusion on how on how to, to uh, wire up a workflow to do so. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm gonna make a brand new workflow. I'm calling calling it Google Docs to OpenAI. I'm just gonna click Create Workflow to create one from scratch. And then the trigger that we can use in this case is for Google Drive. So we search for Google Drive, select the uh, Google Drive app, and then select, uh, I would use the new full, uh, new files instant one right down here. And then you can select your Pipe Dream, uh, your, sorry, your Google Drive connected account. And then you can even uh, listen to specific folders for changes. You might wanna do that if you have a very noisy Google Drive. In this case, I'm just gonna listen to all files in the same drive. So when we create the trigger, Pipe Dream will automatically go out and fetch uh, 10 or so files that's been seen in the past uh, to use so that you can build your workflow off of. Um, you could choose one of the files in the past or you can create a new one. I'm gonna create a new one in this case. Uh, recently there was the CPI consumer price index summary that was released here in the US. So I'm gonna take this huge um, announcement from the Fed and I'm going to create a brand new Google Doc and just paste this in here. Let's see how well this works. And we'll call this, uh, oh, look at that, it's got a nice title already, Consumer Price Index Summary. All right, so hopefully this is created. I'll have to click Save. This is Google Drive. Uh, let's see if I refresh the page back in Drive. Cool. Consumer Price Index Summary. Then we can head back to our workflow and we can see there's an untitled document. It probably, it, it emits the um, the event when the file is created. Since we have a title when the file was first created, that's why it says untitled uh, document. And here we can see all kinds of in interesting information about the document. What we really care about here is the ID. This is the document ID. We need to grab this path, copy path, to get this unique identifier to this particular file. Because remember, this is a Google Drive act, uh, trigger. We don't have uh, the document content because Google Drive can store many different types of files. We need to use Google Docs, the Google Docs app, to grab the, uh, the document content. So we'll go to Google Docs down here and click this on this new step. We'll click Google Docs within the app selector. And then we can search for uh, get document, which is right here. And this will allow you to select a, an account and then a document. Um, you could select from the, uh, you know, like a drop down, but in our case, we're gonna select enter a custom expression because we're going to be dynamically pulling it based on which drive is added, which files added to the drive, uh, Google Drive. So I'm gonna paste in that path that we copied from in the step the trigger above, and this should grab our document. We'll click test to retrieve the document and test this current step. And here we can see it did grab the latest version of the document. It includes the price consumer index summary. Cool. We can look at the body and we can see this big, huge um, array of content. But you may notice it's not quite in a text format that OpenAI can just read. I mean, this is this is Google Drive's actual um, kind of like format, JSON format to describe a lot more than just the content. It's describing font size, color, all of the markup you see in, in the, the document. So I saw a few of you try to just copy the path and, it's, and then just paste it to OpenAI. That is not going to work because you need to convert this content into a format that OpenAI can read, aka text. So I looked around the internet real quick. I looked up um, NPM Google Docs to Markdown. Because Markdown is just text. 
and I found this library that almost fits the bill. What, it's, what it can do is, um, well, it does fit the bill. It can grab a Google Doc by the file ID and then return the markdown. But it also has this handy helper that you can use that's called Google Docs to Markdown um, that will convert a given Google, a Google Docs API response into plain text Markdown, which is exactly what we need. So I'm going to copy this, uh, this uh, line that imports a specific module. I'm going to head back to Pipedream, and I'm going to add a node action. I'm going to run custom node code, and I'm going to paste in the path to this module from NPM. And then we want to actually modify this step, right, to, uh, to include this, this uh, entire API response from Google Drive or sorry, Google Docs, Google Docs, and then paste it in here. So here's the, here's the path to that specific document we retrieved from the Google Docs API in their special format. So then we need to convert it using this module. We're just gonna call Google Docs to Markdown, pass in that big API response, and then hopefully it returns the entire document in a Markdown format that we could pass to an OpenAI chat prompt. Perfect, awesome. So you can see here, it made the title, it includes all the consumer, or the, all of the paragraphs, but in one huge text blob, which is what we need. We can't pass in a big old JSON blob because OpenAI doesn't know how to read that, um, at least by default. So um, I made a new step. I'm gonna choose OpenAI, I'm going to choose chat, and then I'm going to select my GPT-4 key. Uh, make sure that you choose, as of the time of the recording, OpenAI GPT-4 was released, but you do need to have a paid subscription to use their bigger model, uh, GPT-4, which can use up to 128,000 tokens. Uh, it's a very large amount. And as you saw, we have a very large document. So I would actually recommend using their preview in this case, or their regular uh, GPT-4. And then we can pass in our user message and we can say, um, please summarize the text below into short bullet points. So that's, that's our prompt, right? And we need to actually pass in the document content from our prior step. So we can just copy the path to this, this huge text blob that was generated from our special Mark Google Doc to Markdown uh, module. And then we can pass it right here by clicking, by pasting the uh, the path. And as you notice, there's two two curly brackets. That means evaluate as JavaScript, so it'll output uh, the content of this path into this text field. We can click test, and then we should be able to see an OpenAI summarization of the CPI that was released. Um, based off of that Google document we created. Awesome. Okay, so it successfully ch sent the chat. There's the original message, and here's the generated message. Cool. We got a, a summary of the document that we passed to OpenAI. Um, it's unchanged in October after a rise in September. You can read the overall summary at your leisure. So a couple of things to quickly cover for troubleshooting purposes. First of all, remember, Google Drive can store many different kinds of files beyond Google Documents. They can store spreadsheets, they can store images, they can store zip files, they can store any kind of file, really. So we need to have an extra step here between the trigger and getting the Google Document that makes sure that we are only, you know, we only run this workflow on Google Drive, Google Doc files. So let's look through this data here. The one thing that jumps out to me is this MIME type. This MIME type field um, describes what kind of uh, file type it is. So I'm gonna copy the path and I'm gonna use a brand new step in between our trigger and our getting document to filter on. So I'm gonna use the filter app and I'm going to continue the execution if met. And the initial value is the MIME type, right? And we wanna make sure that it matches exactly the, um, that string we copied, this one. 
application BND. This just means Google Google Drive doc. That's all it means. And then the reason for ending, if it does end, this workflow only works with Google Docs and not other file types. Just so we remember, whenever this filter uh, meets a file that is not a Google Doc, then it will show the reason for ending is as that. Cool. So now we have that. We can also um, now we have that. We have a good you know filter to make sure that we're not running this on non Google documents. And then finally, we can deploy. In this case, I'm using a get back um, get back to workflow, so I can just merge this into production. It will deploy it. The other question that came up was around permissions in this thread. What what you need to make sure is that the file within your Google Drive, you can see how the owner is owned by my pierce.pipedream.com account, right? And that's the same exact account that I've connected here in my, I'm just gonna click edit again so you can see, here in the get document step, this is the same Google, Google uh, account. It's one to one. If there are other files in here that our trigger is listening to in Google Drive, you need to make sure that the file is owner, or at least you have access to that particular file with the account that you've connected for the Google document step. You can check for this within the Google Drive UI, and you can see who has access when you click on the file. Look on the right-hand side, it says who has access, and if you do not have access, you will see a permissions error. So just double check to make sure that the file, you have ownership of the file that you want to, you want to summarize or prompt with OpenAI. Otherwise, Pipedream won't be able to pull the file because that account does not have permission. I hope this was helpful. Have a great one.